What if I told you that you can build a full website or even an app without writing a single line of code? You don't have to memorize syntax. You don't have to touch a terminal. You don't even need to know what a database is. All you do is tell the AI what you want, and it builds it for you. Now, here's the catch. There isn't just one way AI is changing how we build things. There are two. One is called vibe coding. That's where you sit with an AI like it's your coding buddy and you go back and forth until your project works. The other is called agentic AI. That's where you give the AI a mission and it goes off and does the job on its own, like a full development team that never sleeps. Both sound exciting. But the big question is, which one actually works better? Which one should you use for your next project? That's exactly what we're breaking down in this video. By the time we're done, you'll know what vibe coding really feels like, what agentic AI can actually deliver, and which one makes the most sense for you. So first of all, let's actually talk about what these two things are. Vibe coding was coined by Andrej Karpathy. He described it as see things, say things, run things. And honestly, that's exactly how it feels. You open up an AI tool, you describe in plain English what you want, the AI writes the code, and you run it. If it's not quite right, you tell it again, and it adjusts. It's like pair programming with a hyperactive intern who never gets tired. The good part? Anyone can start doing it instantly. No setup, no scary installs, no steep learning curve. Just you and the AI bouncing ideas back and forth until something works. Agentic AI is different. Instead of holding its hand every step of the way, you just hand it the big picture. Something like, upgrade this whole repo to Django 5 and make sure all the tests pass. Then it plans the tasks, edits the files, runs the tests, and even creates pull requests while you supervise. In other words, it doesn't just write simple snippets of code when you ask. It actually behaves like an autonomous developer that can manage a full workflow on its own. So vibe coding is a creative back and forth where you steer the wheel. On the other side, agentic AI is more like setting the GPS and letting the car drive itself. Both are great, but as you'll see, they're built for very different situations. Now that you know what vibe coding and agentic AI actually mean, let's talk about the tools that make them real. If you've seen those videos where someone types a single prompt and a whole site pops out of the other end, that's the vibe coding world. Lovable is built for exactly that. You chat, it scaffolds, it deploys, and you're looking at a working app without ever touching the scary parts. Bolt does the same trick in the browser, so you can prompt, run, edit, and even ship a full stack right there. Tempo leans into a visual editor with an AI helper, which means you're still steering the creative direction while the tool handles the heavy lifting under the hood. These are the places where beginners can move fast and actually see progress without getting buried in setup. Now, the flip side to the other camp. Devin behaves like a teammate who reads your ticket, makes a plan, writes the code, runs the tests, and shows up with a pull request for you to review. GitHub's co-pilot coding agent can take an assigned task and open a PR from your IDE or the agent's panel. Cursor gives you background agents that quietly spin up a remote environment, change files, run things, and message you when it's ready for review. And if you live in the terminal, Cloud Code brings an agentic workflow straight to your repo with planning, execution, and iteration in one loop. This is where you stop nudging every line and start supervising outcomes. Now, most of you might be thinking, where does ChatGPT fit? If you're chatting your way through a feature and pasting snippets back into your editor, that's vibe coding. If you're using OpenAI's developer agent, that can run tasks across environments and keep working while you step away, that's agentic. Two different experiences, same ecosystem. Now, here's the big question everybody cares about. Which of these two actually delivers when it counts? Let's start with vibe coding. It's a dream for beginners because you don't need setup headaches or deep technical knowledge. 
You get to stay in control, nudging the AI step by step, and the instant feedback feels amazing. It's perfect for quickly validating an idea, spinning up an MVP, or just learning how code fits together. But here's the flip side. Vibe coding can only take you so far. You're boxed in by what the platform lets you build. The flexibility is limited, and if you push too fast, you can end up with messy code that piles up into technical debt. Most vibe-coded apps are great as demos, but not the kind of thing you'd want to scale to thousands of users. Agentic AI, on the other hand, feels like the upgrade. Once you hand it a clear mission, it works with real autonomy. It scales bigger projects, keeps the structure predictable, and can get you to production-ready results a lot faster than vibe coding ever could. That said, it comes with its own baggage. Agentic systems can introduce silent bugs that slip past you. The learning curve is steeper because you need to supervise at a higher level, and if you lean on it too much, you risk losing touch with the fundamentals. So I would say neither approach is magic. They're not golden keys that build the next unicorn startup for you while you nap. The real value comes from knowing which method matches the job. Vibe coding delivers when speed, simplicity, and creativity matter most. Agentic AI delivers when you need depth, scale, and stability. The winners aren't the tools. The winners are the people who know when to pick the right one. So if you're just starting out, vibe coding is your lane. You can open up a tool, describe what you want in plain English, and actually see it come to life. It's perfect for learning, for prototyping an idea that's been sitting in your head, or for launching a quick demo to show off. If what you need is speed and simplicity, Vibe Coding delivers. But if you're sitting on a serious project, maybe an app that has to scale, or a code base that needs regular updates, or a business tool that can't afford to break, then Agentic AI is where you should lean. This is where autonomy matters. An agent can handle the repetitive tasks, refactor huge sections of code, or even run your pipelines while you focus on strategy and product design. The truth is, you don't have to pick one forever. A lot of developers are already mixing the two. You might use vibe coding in the morning to test out new features, then let an agent work overnight to add documentation, polish the code, and run all the tests. That's the hybrid sweet spot. The bottom line? Vibe coding is great for creativity and quick wins. Agentic AI is great for control and scalability. The smartest move? Use both and know when to switch. So what did we learn here? Vibe coding is like your creative spark. Fast, simple, and perfect for testing ideas without the heavy lifting. Agentic AI is like your full-stack teammate. Slower to ramp up, but built for serious projects that need structure and scale. Neither is the one true way. The real power is knowing when to play with vibes and when to let agents run the show. And if you're thinking, all right, I get the difference, but what about all the other AI tools out there? Which ones are actually worth my time in 2025? Then I've got you covered. Check out my video where I tested the top 10 best AI tools of 2025 and what genuinely surprised me. It's the perfect follow-up if you want to see what tools are hype and which ones actually deliver. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that next video.